Okay, continuation from the last video. Uh, here's the bag that I put all my strap and cordage in and uh, cordlets and harness and all that stuff. And here's the bag I put my rope in and, and some beaners. It's got a nice, just cheap little sack and it's got a couple of straps on here I can wear as a little backpack. So that's kind of what I do with that. Back onto water purification here. Uh, I have three systems, really four systems of water purification. Uh, again, new to this, just kind of like the climbing, kind of new to this stuff. But here we uh, go with this. We got, of course, the guy bottle and boiling. That's always an option and probably a good one. Got the Katadin Hiker um, water filter. From what I understand, again, I may be wrong on some of these things, but this is what I understand. Takes 99.9% .9 of the protozoa, cysts, and bacteria, but does not take out viruses, which for the most part in North America aren't a problem in the backcountry areas, probably more of a problem closer to the city areas. So to be safe, you would want to use uh, some either iodine or chlorine dioxide tablets. So I got those. So, you know, you might use two of these, this to filter out the water and get out the sediment and the murkiness and all that kind of stuff. And this one to uh, actually make sure everything is killed. All fits in this little sack right here. Um, got kind of concerned it doesn't really kill everything. So got talked in. Uh, not did wasn't too hard, but talked me into uh, using a SteriPen. So I, I picked up the SteriPen. So here it is. Uh, there's a lot of videos on the internet on these, but you press the button once for a liter, twice for two liters. And then it will, well, you take this off first, of course. There's two little prongs here that have to be submerged in water and uh, press it once for one liter and twice for half a liter. And then the blue light comes on when you are submerged in water. Uh, I don't have any water in any of these right now. And then you let it sit there until the light goes off. And that's 90 seconds for a liter and 48 seconds for half a liter. And then, um, you know, your water is purified. The big deal about this is positive, kills viruses. Um, negative, well, what it does is it disrupts the DNA so they can't reproduce themselves. But that's in viruses, cysts, protozoa, and bacteria. Bad parts of that, I think, are uh, takes batteries. Uh, could be broken, of course. Um, and, you know, really the microorganisms are in your water it's just they can't reproduce so they're still in there and, and of course it requires somewhat clear water and uh, should be most likely unless it's it's pretty clear should be filtered first now there is a little micro filter that comes with this so I got the REI bottle that didn't come with it here's the classic runs on four AA batteries Lithiums will last um, for 100 one liter uh, fills or 200 half liter fills, and then you need to replace the batteries. They don't necessarily recommend alkaline. They do say you can use nickel metal hydride rechargeables. Of course, you see in some of my other videos, I do have nickel metal hydride rechargeables, fly capacities, and I have the solar chargers. So I, I might try that. This is pretty much foolproof. It either works or it doesn't. If it doesn't work, it flashes red and things don't go off right. If it works, it flashes green and you're all set. So, again, willing to take uh, opinions and comments on that, but uh, I'm thinking that the SteriPen is pretty good, but you should always have a backup from what they say. And you'd want these, and if you have really murky water, you're going to want to filter it, pre-filter it, uh, you know, go, go all route. Then you'd end up carrying both, which is seems kind of uh, silly all three really with that so I'll probably end up carrying this with tabs and uh, extra set of double a um, four double a lithium batteries which are expensive about ten dollars uh, so that's what I went with for water purification